hello welcome back to the tarot closet welcome if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining me my name is christine hello i hope this finds you well i'm really happy you are here virgo sun moon rising venus signs welcome to another virgo tarot reading virgo love tarot reading virgo love reading and as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Virgo Love Messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, how they feel about you, how do you feel about them, what's going on in this connection. Let's look at the energy that is making its way in here. Three of Cups, King of Wands. Right off the bat, somebody wants to communicate with you, Virgo. <laughs> It could even be, if it's possible for you to see your person that, if you haven't already, and, and I would say a, a recent energy or an, a, a pretty up, upcoming energy here, seeing them, that you will be. And it can be around an event that might be around some friends and family, a celebratory event. Either way, I know in person isn't for everybody. This is a reunion energy and it is a communication energy. Three of Cups, Mercury and Cancer the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. And oftentimes it's connected to reading and writing. So if it's not about seeing each other, it can be via social media, SMS, email, but it's also communication. So how are you normally communicating together? And they're making this bold move. This is the king of wands here, a very courageous, bold energy who's going for what they want. It's a passionate energy. It's around matters of the heart. It's the energy of love. It's the fiery energy. It's even coming through here in the energy here today. Yeah, so something is <laughs> brewing <laughs> literally here. What is wanting to show? There's something here showing. Oh my gosh, it's the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, so that's apologetic energy. Interesting, Sun and Gemini energy. So also an apology coming through here. Soul connection. I like this energy already coming in, Virgo. Let's see what else is here for you today. Virgo, I'm channeling for you in March 2024. And you could be here in March 2024. You could also be here many months, even years later. And that is because this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. It means there is a message here for you. This is a faded connection, Virgo. You're here. Yeah, you're here and you're meant to be here, so welcome. Let's see the energy that is coming in. The Strength card and the King of Cups. Whoa. Okay. So they're also trying to get the strength, literally, to tell you how they feel about you. Because have they been holding it back? Pisces energy. They may have been suppressing their feelings for you, but how they feel about you? There's a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of feelings for you. I think it's even more than just having a lot of feelings for you. So let's get in here and see. Leo energy and also source, a very intuitive bear here. Look, you can see an infinity symbol here, of course. And that's also an eight. This is the strength card. And that's an action number. And it's connected to some karma. It's also, again, connected to infinity. So that could be right off the bat for some of you, twin flame energy. Doesn't mean that's for everybody, of course, because that's also just a particular kind of love, like a forever love, a connection. I love you to infinity. So I, I, I love you forever. I'll, I'll always love you. It's that kind of energy. And it's also truth. And it's also balance. And it's also renewal. And I'll tell you, there is strong chemistry here between you. <laughs> we saw in the King of Wands, that passionate energy of really moving toward you and wanting to see you or communicate with you if it's not possible to see each other. And we know that it's because they have a lot of feelings for you, but there's also a strong chemistry here that sometimes can get, has been getting, and I feel like is getting to your person. That's interesting, really emotional. All your readings are down below, Virgo, in the <laughs> in the description, the playlists. All the readings are there. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment energy. Synchronicity. The Tower in reverse. That's very interesting. 
So there was some something that was going on here around their ego and around not being honest. They were not being honest about something here. Look at how drawn you are together. The synchronicity is here in your partnership placement. So they're definitely feeling drawn to you. Biggest wish energy, wish fulfillment energy, nine of cups. Four of pentacles. They're also worried that whatever was going on here in this tower energy, Mars energy, a decision I feel around their ego. Yeah. That maybe messed some things up because they're worried here. Maybe that's why they're coming in so fast. It can't even be that you aren't expecting. If, it, if you're able to see your person, but you know, you know that there's a potential that you're seeing them somewhere, that's probably where, what they're doing. They're like really feeling pulled towards you and wanting to reach you. There's something here they're still needing to untangle. But they definitely haven't let you go. Sun and Capricorn energy, and it's coming here with the Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces energy. This is wishes coming true energy. Synchronicity. The Knight of Cups, excuse me, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Here with the Tower as well. So the lack of communication. Ending this no communication. Something here also around the communication. Again, the lack of, the lack of clarity, dishonesty. Because this is transactional energy. You know, the Knight of Swords has quite a lot to say in reverse. It's the total opposite. It's hiding something here with the tower energy in reverse. This is where their energy is the strongest. This is just wanting to come off. It's the page of wands. Luck the candle lit, getting this idea. Transformational energy. There's the snake as well. It's renewal. You know, a snake needs to shed its skin. And that's also shedding of the ego here. This is also what's going on for me in the Nine of Wands in reverse. Moon and Sagittarius energy. And it's putting the moon in reverse, which is the clarity they're getting and the truth. Finally, they're getting it for themselves too. And I think they're going to be bringing that to you. What's going on here? Nine of Swords in reverse, Two of Wands. Yeah. So it's sort of like lighting the flame here. A lot of healing energy. Look with the crystals. Also seeing things. Literally, and getting inspired here to come. Of course, Page of Swords, or excuse me, Page of Wands, Two of Wands. Mars and Aries energy. Mars is the planet of action and passion. We saw that. <laughs> Pretty strong energy in the King of Wands. And a completion energy here. So you've been waiting for this, for them to make this decision. It could literally be around travel, too. Again, physical, actual travel. So... This could be going to whatever that is in the Three of Cups for some of you. A family event, a friend's event. And if that coming together in person is not possible because the coming out here, look at this. And this is also, you know, this is the Nine of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is like a healing energy. It's, you know, this is, just want to show you. Gemini and Mars energy of not sleeping very well. Kind of but being haunted by what? What are they anxious about here? Because it's like, okay, that's it. It's like, I'm going to do something about it now because it's a release of that, coming out of that and getting this idea. This is what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to move forward here toward my person. And we also have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords. That's a 99. And that's a fulfillment energy. What's going on here? Wishes fulfilled, wishes coming true. Being drawn, You're being pulled together here. They have not let you go. In fact, it is coming through. You are their biggest wish, and they know this. That's the knowing egg here, too. And this Nine of Wands in reverse is like coming out of some defensive energy. You know, it's like putting the wand down, not being so defensive. And in this Mars energy is completion. So what is that around? Because that also connects us to the world card, the energy of completion and travel and yeah, karmic debts paid, obstacles out of the way, some kind of life-changing decision, something here that is not, is it, because this does not at all feel over. They definitely want to see you. 
And whether they already have that courage or they're building it up, they're they're really feeling drawn to you. And you you're both, I feel, in the partnership placement. While you're not talking, getting a lot of there's a lot of synchronicity going on. You know, you're seeing a lot of things that are just bringing up your person. Yeah, there's more of that putting their defenses down energy. This is where their energy is the strongest. I mean, they're everywhere, but it's quite strong here. And this is like not having so many defenses up. Seven of Wands here in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. So this is what's on their mind. Capricorn, Virgo, you're here in Taurus energy. This is commitment energy. It's like next level. <laughs> Whoa. And it stayed there the entire time. And look, there's also an, an apology. This is the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Prince, Princess, Charming, Energy Card, Romantic, Proposal Energy. So we know they also want to apologize. They, they really did something here. It's around not being honest, I feel. It could even be around something to do with your connection in terms of where you were taking it or where it was going that they were scared of, whatever. And of course, it can always be that there's a third party, particularly the Three of Swords. But that's also transactional energy, communication, or lack thereof, of course, lack of clarity, truth. And that came through really strong for me in that Tower energy, that they were not being honest about something here. And they're apologizing for that here in this Three of Swords in reverse, Saturn and Libra energy. How they feel about you, King of Cups in reverse, hiding how they feel. The Magician is here. Yeah, something is about to change. Gemini in Virgo, you're also here with your Mercury planet mate. Has above, so below. They're getting really focused in here, trying to find a way to turn their visions, we saw that King of Wands into reality. So this could really be around a particular event for some of you. And if this is not, again, being able to see each other, because they're getting this idea. Page of Wands, Two of Wands, the Magician. And we saw that, of course, King of Wands energy coming in with the Three of Cups. This idea to show up for something and make some kind of grand gesture. This prince, princess, charming energy, this romantic proposal, ace of pentacles. They're definitely apologizing, but it's sort of like they're trying to get a chance to either see you or talk to you, maybe both. So if they can't see you, and this idea of moving forward isn't to that three of cups, to a particular event, it is to communicate either way. And again, how do you normally communicate? Because that's the energy that comes through. But this Knight of Cups has some kind of proposal on their mind, Scorpio and Pluto energy. And so does this Ace of Pentacles. And the Magician can alchemize everything that's going on, everything that's happened, of course, past, present, and kind of set things up for the future energy, which the world energy also comes through here in the Two of Wands. Again, bringing in the world card, divine number, divine timing, completion, getting getting you somewhere, wishes fulfilled here. Fulfillment even here, excuse me, in the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is both a good energy. I like that. It's the release of what they've been holding back. And also this vulnerable energy, I feel like you kind of being more open to it because when this Seven of Wands is in the upright, I mean, look at it. It's Wounded warrior, it's like protecting yourself. It's a self-defense. I mean, somebody here has this, I don't know what you really call that, you know, from protecting from the sharks, kind of like in this cave underwater. There's the boat up here. It's like trying to get to there. You can see other divers, but there's a lot of sharks around right now. Well, that's an interesting energy. It's in reverse, though, and it's in between this fulfillment energy here. And I'm, not, I'm also not surprised that it's here because it's right next to the tower energy of your person not being honest about something here. Bottom of the deck energy, the six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this is like a one-sided energy. 
giving to something else, not being honest. There you go, for sure. Is there something else here? It's not super clear. It could be. They're definitely apologizing, and this is, you've been wanting that. And they have been holding back. It's really clear. Is that why they're apologizing, or is there another third party other than themselves? Because they're here in the third party. Tower in reverse, something they weren't being honest about. And this selfish energy, you could call that breadcrumbing, right? The magician is the new beginning. And it's the potential that they're still seeing here, that's here. And it's taking this inspired action, manifesting you, soulmate energy. I just feel like they're really, really being pulled to you. And there's all these signs that they're getting. And you might be getting them too, but some a force bigger than you here. It's like bringing you back together. Even if whatever is going to go on there, because you have free will, Virgo. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will, but you've been waiting for an apology. And what else? The two of wands. You know, it's the completion energy here. So it's the end of a cycle, completion, renewal. So is that the end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation? Yeah. But what is the goal? Ultimately, where is where is this leading here? Because it's an energy of obstacles out when obstacles being out of the way, in particular with the magician here as the support, who has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. And is, this is the renewal. Truth, balance, and renewal. But there's, there's this feeling of, yeah, I just keep seeing them. Like, I want to get back. I need to get to... I need to communicate and or see my Virgo. This idea, literally. And I don't think it's just to apologize. In fact, I just heard for some of you that might be sort of, it sounds silly, but like almost like an excuse. Like that's what they're doing, but they have a lot more in mind. Where are you at with this? You know, what happened in this energy? It's not super clear, but I can see you've been hurt and you're afraid to be hurt and there has been some lying. Has there been a tower moment? Definitely could have been the case. It's connected with the Nine of Wands coming here now in reverse, kind of ending the separation, the defensive energy. It's also connecting here with the Knight of Cups. But this is more about the dishonesty for me. And they just weren't wanting to own something, I feel. And now they are. So it's kind of, I don't know. I almost feel like there's a third party here too, maybe in your in your camp, you could say, on your side, whether it's friends or whatever, something almost like higher font energy of like a mediator type of person that, or someone that they're talking to. Maybe you know each other, maybe you don't. I feel like they're talking, like there's there's somebody else here that's kind of orchestrating this too, kind of in the middle, like a middleman. It could be you talking to someone, them talking to someone, both of you. I don't know. Justice in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles, or excuse me, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, until I get this truth, I'm not coming back. Because this is you with one, maybe both feet out the door. If you're maybe even already gone here. Seven of Pentacles, Venus and Taurus energy. You know, because when you were here, when did you decide that maybe you're not going to wait? Or when did you start moving closer or maybe all the way out? You're here waiting. This delayed outcome, you know, all the time and effort and the love and everything you've put into it waiting for this. And it's in reverse now. And it's coming here with justice in reverse. So a little more telling what's going on. The tower in reverse, three of swords in reverse. They're sorry for lying. They were definitely not being honest. Fate, karmic law, spiritual justice. It's Libra energy, of course, Venus energy. It's kept things from, it's literally, it's like saying, well, yeah, you, unless you're going to be honest with me, I'm done. And so maybe that's why they're just trying to, to kind of find, <laughs> be strategic, find a way, calling in the magician energy to come here with this apology, which I feel like you do want, which, wish fulfillment, but a lot more. Nine of cups, ace of pentacles, nine of cups, excuse me, ace of pentacles, knight of cups, the magician. This is definitely some current energy if you, here look, with the Four of Pentacles. 
because even here they're worried. And justice in reverse. This is this is yours. And that's yours. The star. The Eight of Wands is coming here in reverse. So definitely not responding, not having written, but trying to. This is the communication. Mercury and Sagittarius energy. And it's in reverse, not because it's not coming, but that there's kind of like delays. And it's coming here with the Two of, two of Wands. It just revealed also the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? You are definitely waiting for them to apologize because they're asking for forgiveness here. And it could be just literally around a message, you know? But this is also communication that they should have maybe communicated a long time ago. It's strongly connected to reading and writing in the Mercury energy, which of course is your ruling planet, but this is Sagittarius and Mercury energy, and it's in reverse. So it's like a slow down of this action of communication, reading, writing, SMS, social media. So again, it, it's really connected to that, but it's more connected to how do you normally communicate? Is it in person? Could it be at that event? Is it via phone call, voice message, whatever that is? It's delayed, you can see that, but I also feel like it's gonna change here really fast if it hasn't already. Also connecting with that star ener the star energy here, it's like stars aligning. Aquarius and Uranus energy, the hope, the clarity, the renewal. In action number, again. The biggest wish energy, again, the stars lining up, wishes fulfilled, also nine of cups energy. In action number. Connecting here with the Knight of Cups. They've definitely been hiding their feelings, I'll tell you that. Is that the only thing they haven't been honest about? I think there's a lot more. It doesn't feel like this was, you know, just about that. But that's something that they have been hiding for sure. So the strength is coming back. It's in reverse. So this is kind of like, it's some fear. And they're almost sabotaging things the longer they take. This is some fear around that. There's a, there, <laughs> the chemistry between you, I feel is really strong. And there is some ego that they're in here. I do have to say, I really feel the, the ego coming through. But that's like, again, it's kind of a, a sabotaging energy. There's some fear there. It's the strength card. And we saw that in the King of Wands with the Three of Cups, that they're trying to I feel like they're talking to other people. I don't know if it's in person, online, or what. Maybe figuring out how to, to come to you, whether it's communication or at this event. Maybe even planning something. Again, something kind of grandiose I keep hearing too. I don't know what that means. But we are seeing the Knight of Cups, you know, some kind of romantic proposal, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, is this something major? Of course it could be. There's the Ten of Swords again, so there's a validation of the apology. For, not for lying, right here with the justice in reverse and the three of swords in reverse. Strong, 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 apologetic energy. And they're also saying, I'm sorry, I haven't, I haven't let this go. I haven't let you go. I'm trying to work this out. You are my biggest wish. And I'm, I'm really trying to make this happen. Please don't go. Please don't go, please don't go yet. Because some of you, again, that Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. The Six of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Interesting, because <laughs> this is the return and this is more of the energy of the return, but it's in reverse here. It's like the lack of confidence. And this Seven of Swords changed everything, Aquarius and Uranus energy. They were not being honest. There may have been some betrayal here for some of you. So that may have been what's going on here with the tower in reverse, the three of swords, the ten of swords in reverse. And what is that betrayal around? Of course it can be romantic, but third parties can be a lot of things. You know, listening to the wrong people, being stuck up in their own head, having some, some interference, other things that are interfering like being really far away, distance, cultural, religious differences, whatever. But this is the lack of confidence kind of in, in the communication because this is them wanting to say everything to you. And again, the Seven of Swords came in reverse, but just having a little lack of confidence. And it's minor arcana energy here, you know. 
The major arcana energies here are the magician and the star and the past energy here of the tower in reverse. The magician and the star. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is taking this inspired action here, the two of wands. I mean, you can see it everywhere. Eventually, seeing or communicating with you, but they're trying to get some kind of information. There's definitely a lack of confidence around this apology that they need to make, but they're making it. That's the apologetic energy coming here in reverse. This is the making amends. It could even have been for some of you they were caught at something. And look, it's coming here with the seven of wands in reverse, which is like, okay, I'm going to hear you out energy. And they might even just be kind of cornering you, if you know what I mean? Especially if you are seeing each other, probably most definitely in that situation. It's also giving us a 77 here, which is interesting because that's some realigning energy to kind of get things on the right track. Again, Ten of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse. Apologetic energy is super strong. Mars and Scorpio energy. Asking for forgiveness, in fact. But they got more in their mind than just apologies. Oracle. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse right now, by the way. A New Direction Passage. Blossom. Wildness, a wolf howling at the moon. <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, and Gemini coming through with that moon energy. Communication, full moon energy. You know, we're very revealing intense energy too, intense emotional energy. With the full moons, it's like everybody's going kind of wild. <laughs> you know, the wolf moon really is kind of what this, of course, is bringing in. And... Yeah, the synchronicity here in your partnership placement and bringing you back into communication, the synchronicity also connecting here strongly with the star energy. It's like stars aligning, whether it's an actual physical person or, of course, this divine timing energy coming in. We saw that in the Empress coming in, didn't we? Or did, am I bringing the Empress in? The Empress just came in. That's what happens. Okay. <laughs> That's what's happening here. Good fortune. Here with kindreds, kindred spirits, divine number, divine timing in front of the sun. New beginning and outcome, God, goddess, the universe, some Leo energy back there. Good fortune, the wheel of fortune. It's Jupiter energy, it's a turning point here. It's also bringing in Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy in a four-leaf clover, you know. Everything. But that Jupiter energy is the planet of expansion. The planet of prosperity and hope and an optimistic energy. And luck. You know, this is like lucky, right? Four-leaf clover. I always think of that as timing. Luck is preparation meets opportunity. So if they're putting themselves in, in, in a place to see you, that's I kind of feel like they're doing this. Like they're crossing their fingers. It's aligning. Star energy, synchronicity, magician card. That's some strong... Al alchemizing energy, alchemy, magic, like bringing you together and then, <laughs> you know, turning things around. So maybe it could be also two here with this Eight of Wands in reverse. Also in the Six of Wands, or mostly the Eight of Wands, I would say, that you have been not rebuffing, but maybe not taking calls or answering and just so they're going to find a way. And I know that's not for everybody, but they are find they are trying to find a way here in that full moon that's illuminating everything. It's the subconscious and it's revealing. That's what it does. And it looks like a wolf moon here. So it's, <laughs> you know, a whole lot to say and a whole lot being revealed. The feelings for you here that they've been suppressing. You are their biggest wish. The wish fulfillment energy, the apology is off the charts here. Energy, it's off the charts. And you're also waiting for that flip here in the King of Cups because it's like, I need this, not just an apology, a flip in. I need a sincere apology here. But it's obviously more than an apology. This is also hanging off. Yeah, I really like this for you. Fate and destiny. Cycles of life, always turning, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. And that energy already came in here, didn't it? Or am I imagining that too? Of wanting to connect with you, this new start. 
anyway, I'm seeing it. <laughs> it's coming in because that's what I'm being shown, being shown the Empress and I'm being shown the Wheel of Fortune. And we're also seeing it here. The deep soulmate connection is really clear. And it's a, it is a coming into destiny energy. Your destinies are intertwined. And look, there's passage. It's a new passage. The boat here on the divine, which heads in a direction, which we saw that here. Where did that go? Didn't we see that also? Boy, I'm just seeing all kinds of energy coming in. It's crazy. <laughs> Three of wands. That's what I'm seeing. And they're in sailboats. It's a big honking rainbow here. That's hope connected to the divine. Like an, a passage, a new direction. And it's blossoming here. Look at this. Grounded. It's like a world. And all the roots here, look. This connection energy. Because there's definitely more grounded energy than what has been going on with your person. In fact, there's been a lack of that, I feel. A strong lack of that. Yeah, look. So this is also connecting with the magician. It's potential. Look at the seed in front of the sun and look at all the roots here growing and look what's coming out here. That's the potential here in the magician card. This is what they're hoping for. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Is there anything else Virgo needs to see or hear today? Aho. Three. The other one wasn't meant to be. Blind. They were blind. They're not anymore. They're definitely apologizing. They don't want you to go. Ten of Swords in reverse is connected to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which is like, excuse me, yeah, which is you kind of like with all your feet out the door, maybe even already gone, and maybe they're just going to try to find a way to talk to you. Duality. Definitely getting another perspective here. It, it wasn't not just black and white, you know, there's a lot more to it, which maybe they weren't seeing before. Yeah, <laughs> it's the humility coming through. And lots of humility here in this apologetic energy. Abundance. This is connecting with the Empress energy. So that's where that is coming from. Taurus energy, also Libra, Venus, divine feminine energy, divine number, divine timing. Can create and grow anything. Abundance. And of course, around love, a Mother Earth, a healing energy. Connecting to all the elements, much like the Magician. Also with humility, I like this a lot. This energy, the King of Cups is like going right because they're coming in in an emotionally available way and, and being honest here. They're not coming in here to corner you, I feel like, or send a message as cornering. This is more. Yeah. The strength is back. It's the third time the strength is here. It's the third time it's here. It's a divine number. Divine timing, and it came here with the Lover's card. Gemini energy, Venus energy, Archangel Raphael, the angel for healing. So yeah, they love you. And looks like you love them too. And there is a decision that's going to be coming out of this conversation, possibly meeting, and maybe they're planning something kind of grandose here. Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Magician, Three of Cups, Lover's card. King of Wands, the Strength card for the third time. Now the third time, it's back here in the upper right. They're totally head over here. And really, really, the, the intense connection, the connection between you was really, really, really intense. And I was feeling like I was kind of falling over my words when your reading began, and that's part of it too. Definitely trying to get the strength here to come. That is just really clear. And of course, that is an action number. Having worked out, some karma here, karmic debts paid, obstacles out of the way, truth, balance, renewal, the magician, the strength card, three times again, Leo energy, also source. I love you. Soulmate energy. And if you're on a twin flame journey, that energy is here. And it might change what this means for you. And if you are and you're here, Make sure you check out the Twin Flame readings because they're they're just for Twin Flame, you know, Twin Flame energy, Twin Flame readings. <laughs>
But harmony in this can be coming together. An unexpected kind of offer here again. So whether they're just popping in somewhere, talking to somebody, trying to plan something, or it's a message, a phone call, whatever, how do you normally communicate? <laughs> this is the energy. Look, crafty, this little sneaky fox. That's reunion energy around the sneaky fox who's getting creative and crafty with this magician. That's who they're having a chat with. Somebody in their life, I feel. It could be that you both know them. Or, or you know them and they've contacted them. There's something here. There's kind of like a plan getting into place. And maybe it's just their higher self because they're coming out of the ego and they're just going to pick up the, the phone or send a message. But for a lot of you, if, you're, if you can see each other and you know maybe even for some of you, you will be, that's what this is around. Okay. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, Virgo. Messages from their higher self. Are you thinking of me too? Lover's card, magician. Manifesting you. I'm telling you, there's some, some kind of plan here going on. Thinking of you brings me peace. Kindred spirits there. They're much more grounded, I feel, than they have been. You know, and that's an earth energy, of course. And that's also connecting to the earth energy, the pentacles, and all the practicalities around the pentacle in a partnership and all the things that need to line up. That's what this is. Like feeling, yeah, they're, I tell you. <laughs> I regret how I left things. Lots of apologetic energy, which was what I was just about to say. I saw someone who looked like you. Our love is eternal. So for those of you that are not, you know, maybe physically able to see each other or haven't been seeing each other. I need time to heal. Is this you? Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. It's like having stepped away, you know? I just feel like it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of emotions around this love. You clearly really love each other. These are together. Yeah. <laughs> now I was about to say, and they clearly love you, and here it is. I love you. I tell you, my guides are, they have a sense of humor. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. Star. Also, somebody literally wishing on stars here. Of course, this nocturnal energy in the star is very prevalent. I'm sorry I ghosted you. I miss you. And love blossoming, by the way. Did we see that? Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self, Virgo. I really like this for you. You are my soulmate. So I'm putting this with... The lovers. Where did the lovers go? I'm piling it all here and the lovers was right here. <laughs> That's okay. The lovers is here with good fortune and passage. I'm going to leave that there. Virgo, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video. It really helps to keep my channel moving when you like videos and Share them, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. Those are things that, yeah, allow me to keep reading for you. So thank you for that. I'm sending you so much love and light and hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then.